Welcome back to part two. We're going to have a, a look at this lot. <clears throat> I'm just going to um, reposition my light. That's better. Now I shouldn't, in theory, if I actually put it here, I shouldn't get in the way of it. Right. So. Got to find out what works and what doesn't work. Now somewhere, I think I've buried it behind all of these. I'm just going to make a bit of room. Bung some of these down here. But I should actually have a nice big battery somewhere. There it is. So some of these should be easy to test. Like this one. do a better pokey stick really than relying on this hexagon key multi-tool thing. Ooh. There's no life in it yet. Is that a photo cell one? Oh, I can't get a roof out of it. Is it on or is it off? It appears to be on. But it may not be a working one. Should we test a bulb? If I can get the bulb out. There we go. Is the bulb okay? The bulb is fine. The bulb is fine. Right, so. Dirty contact. Mm. Okay, so there could be an issue with this circuit because, uh, it was on, but so dim, unless you're really studying it, you wouldn't have noticed. So I'm going to turn this one on. So that one works. This one could just be a dirty contact. Let's see if this other one works. That didn't have a bulb in it. Oh, and I checked the listing as well. Um, there was only five of these brackets in the picture at least. Um, so the seller must have found an extra one up and uh, threw it in the box. I might have another circuit there so that's the one that works. I'll put that in there. These are the two that I've got to look at. See if I get them working. Probably can, I can't imagine it would be that hard. Oof. Might be a bit hard getting this one to work though. <laughs> That's why it might be hard to get this one to work. Um, it is only dust though, it's just cleaning off you see. It's just like dirt. And I'm actually wondering if some dirt's got between the contacts here on the other two and that's why they're not working. To be honest, that wouldn't actually surprise me. Right, so... Don't know if you can see that, but... No, I don't know if that's going to show up, but it is on, but... Dim, and I've got to wiggle the battery around actually, so we've got another circuit board in that one that needs attention. I'm going to take them out so I know, so I know which ones it is. But I just bet it is just the filth on here that's causing it. I bet there's a bit of filth under here because the way the switch works, you've got a little, uh, little raised notch here, 
So when it's in that position, it's not making contact because there's a contact underneath that notch. And when I slide it this way, notch moves over and there's contact. But I bet there's dirt between there. And that's why some of these are not working. Right, so I'm going to put these two dormants down here. We'll try. We'll try another one. Not this one because it hasn't got blood in it. Let's just uh, well I've got plenty of bulbs over here so let's pinch one shall we? I have got spare bulbs so that's that's not a problem. So it's in the on position which is where I want it for now. circuit back in like so get in there right. no. I bet you with this one because this contact is touching the bloody... <sighs> chassis, because it was slightly bent. Let's try it out. Try it out of the lamp and see what it does. Well, if you're not a photo cell one. Oh, I can't see one. Yeah, so we've got another dud one. Not having much luck here, are we? There's <laughs> not a lot that can go wrong on these, so... Oh yeah, this is the one that's got the battery in, so... Now, it appears the battery, as I suspected, is long dead. <laughs> I wasn't expecting anything else. I guarantee the batteries in those are going to be dead as well. Yeah, just done the tongue test. That's um, dead as a door now, but it's actually a green and battery. So I think, as that actually hasn't leaked, I might keep that as a keepsake. Right. This is very clean in here, so I can't see any reason why this thing won't work. And it does. So I've got success. I've got one that I haven't got to fix. <laughs> I'm going to put the bolt, back. the bolt back in this one. I have a free gift stuck to that. Yeah, it's got some white powder over it as well. No idea what it is. It looks like chalk or something, to be honest. Doesn't smell of anything. <laughs> right. And the last Dorman one. Dorman on the camera would help. <laughs> cool, I've got two working ones. So, anyone after a flashing Dorman non photo cell? I don't think these ones are going to hang around long. I think I'll get those gone quite easy. Right, let's have a look at this one. Oh good, I can undo the uh, battery box bolt. I'm just going to lift you up a smidge. 
But I've got a feeling I kept sneaking off camera. Draw this place out here. Um, I haven't decided what ones I want to keep yet. Yeah, you see, this one's got different circuit in it. You see that? <clears throat> Whereas this one has got the thin wires in it. Actually, while I've got this one up here, it works. It's already in the on position, too. 11977F, so there's some sort of code on this. These really do have crappy security bolts on though, I mean look at that, they're just crap plastic basically. <laughs> right. It looks like the body of this one's been squished, so it's going to be an utter pain in the ass to... Uh... Oh, maybe not. I'll put the base in and that'll help push, I hope, will help push the... Uh body back into shape. So we've got one successful here with one of these Permix, but like I said I haven't I haven't gone through and picked the ones I want for myself yet. I've got to clean them all up I think. I think that'll be my best option. Clean them all up, then decide. where the button is, is it this side? Nope. So it is on. I'm not getting any life out of it yet. Code on the bottom of this one as well. SF. Ah. What that means... I've got somewhere dark I can do with this one. I don't know if this one might have a... Right. So currently, this one doesn't work. So, that's another one to the repair pile. I'll stick the bolt back in so I don't lose it. a working one isn't it? There's one on the end here and I couldn't remember if that was a working one or not. Right, so that can lay on there in the to be fixed pile. Right. I'm doing them two last in case you're wondering because they're going to be the trickiest because I've got to get them out of the uh, brackets. Believe they cheaped out on these. I bet these were quite cheap, brand new, you know. There's a circuit board sort of suspended in midair. Actually, no, it's not. It is actually. So, ooh. Three transistors on this one. Yeah, that's not common. Now, it doesn't matter which way around these go in, drop them in either way. No oh idea if it's in the on position or not. It is. So we've got another working one. I'm off camera again. Right, so the working ones I'm going to leave up here on the desk so I don't get muddled. I think most of them do. And like I said, I've got a feeling the ones that don't work are going to be pretty simple to fix. want to check and I still haven't checked. I swear one of these looked like it had a bashed lens. Oh, 
but uh, no, it must have been the light on the picture itself or something that was making the lens look like that had uh, been broken. Working that way round. Right. Oh, might need a new button on this one. Just short the battery out. We don't want to do that, do we? circuit but I don't have a base for this one so I've a spare lamp and a spare circuit. I wonder if the F on these stands for flash because I've all got F on the end of the um, codes. See that? So actually I'm going to half inch the bulb out of this one as the lamp itself isn't really usable at the minute. Get these Dorman circuits working with it. I know what I'm going to be doing later on. So that one is pretty much just a, a spares lamp. So I think it's just this one, isn't it? Then on to the last two. I'm liking that one because that bolt wasn't screwed all the way in. And I forget on these ones, I've got to pull that little tab to release the base. Yeah, as I was saying earlier in the video, I do remember <clears throat> Roadworks at least once, maybe twice actually, that were using these universal ones. And we've got another one. So one not working so far, three working. Two of these are already reserving for a friend of mine. As long as he still wants them. So. The switches have disappeared. <laughs> actually um, broken off on that one. Get this one. Tell you what. Yeah. No battery life in that one either. I do apologise. I was off the bloody camera again, wasn't I? Aye, aye, aye. Right. Do you believe I need the 5mm to get these out of here? These are bloody heavy with the batteries and these are heavy old units. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to bother salvaging that bent up bracket. Take that off, take that off. I'm pretty certain these brackets as well were designed for these universal lamps. What would that bloody come out of there? What's Got it, it won't. Get out of there, you bastard. Oh. Jesus, talk about anti theft. I might have to just uh, find a screwdriver or something that uses a poxy lever because I can't get this out. In there really, really well. I hope the other one's not in here. Is that, uh, that well? Yeah, because I can't actually see a doorman going in these because they've got these lips. So you can't lift the lamp out. And someone has actually um, extended the bracket on here. Look, they've welded this little extra piece on and welded it to this and then another piece here and welded it on. So, 
Whoever had this bracket really did not want their lamps being stolen. I hope I was on camera then. <laughs> right. Put the bolt back in. It's not a special um, type of bolt either, this one. It is literally just an Allen screw, a 5mm Allen screw. I guess back then they presumed that most people wouldn't be carrying one. Well, I suppose, even today, most people wouldn't actually be carrying a, a uh, Allen or a set of Allen keys, so... Yeah, this is the one I'm not going to keep. It's a bit too bashed up, I think. But yeah, there was only five of these brackets pictured. And the two spare um, traffic lamp E circuits were not pictured either. So, uh, I am presuming that the seller found up some more bits. Right. Funny feeling, these are green and batteries as well, because they've got yellow bottoms like the other one. Because if they are, then we know who the supplier of these lamps were. Nope, that just says a contractor's lamp battery. Are we going to work? Nope. But uh, I think I said this one's got the... Oh, the switch fell off. <laughs> Little screw bits got lost. So, I'll test this one outside the lamp, I think. No, I did have the battery around the right way. Flip the switch. That one pain in the ass work. This one may not be a running one yet. Make sure both my springs are contacting. It could be just a something as simple as the bulb. I'm off camera I get to tell you what. Let's do that, shall we? Right. So I've got this. Oh! I fix the switch because I've just found the, um, I don't actually know what they call it, the collar to screw it to the, or we'll fix it to the lamp. There we go, it probably came unscrewed from being thrown around and whatnot. And I'll give the bulb a test and uh, I'll check that one out. Some I tried to think how old. No, they're dead. Dread to think how old these bear. Actually, is there a date on them? Made in UK. Well, that shows its age. Seventh <laughs> ninety-eight. Think they're a little bit old, don't you? I'm surprised they haven't leaked. If they're that old, because I bet. These have probably been stored for that long. These have probably been cleared out from somewhere and sold as they were. I mean, the seller did say that it included, or some of the lamps had batteries, but he didn't say that they worked. <laughs> to be honest, I wasn't expecting them to work, so... Get out of here, you bitch. Come on. Come on. Caramba, get out of there. There we go. These contractors as well. Yeah. All 1998. Oh, I 
didn't realise that. They've actually got the permit written on them. And it's flashing! Because the lamp says so. <laughs> I need a smaller pokey stick. Now I think the switch needs some attention on that. I have got spare switches so that's not a problem either. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. The switch won't retract, it's stuck in. Oh, there we go. So if this one doesn't appear to be working, I bet that's a switch issue. Yeah. I guarantee that one's got a switch problem. So. Not bad. Um. I mean, I can actually get uh, one of these permits working anyway, because I've got this one here with the spare circuit in. Let's just make sure the bulbs haven't blown. No, nope, that bulb is alright, so I'm going to put it in this one. Uh, find out how it goes in. Friggin' one, haven't I? Or did I? <laughs> one of these is the dodgy one. They both seem to have sticky switches. So I'm just chuck this in one of these. Put in a base. Put in a bolt. So it's just this one I can't figure out why it's not debugging. Yeah, bulb is good. I might have something to do with it actually. Right. Oh. That's a problem as well. That wire's supposed to be on that stud. Get on there, you bastard. Making sure I'm still in shot. Problem is, I get carried away with things like this and I forget to check the camera that I'm still in shot. Ah! No, nope, got it working. It's just battery contacts being a pain on that one. Okay, so scrub that then, all the permits work. Oh, I'm actually missing one. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got one down there which I didn't think worked. Do a bit of a long-winded video. It was this one that I couldn't get to work, wasn't it? I'll have a look at that later though, because I'm sweating. I need a drink. I want to just go and have five minutes at the PC before I continue working on any of these, so...
Anyway, thanks a lot for watching everyone. I hope you liked this video and I will talk to you all again in the next one. Bye.